today we are going to learn open bullet function these tools all will be linked in my youtube description or channel you can download tools from there so without delay let's start the video in this function this came very handy for us there are many options so i'm going to explain some of them today first of all we can see here a name constant so how can we use it when making config sometimes we need to have a constant text or url like i am typing here url and if i type google.com when i click start the variable name url will show me google.com it will be a constant input which thing i input here will be constant if i click on capture it will be in red mark and will be in the capture when i run the config okay as we understand the constant click click on the here here we can see many more options base 64 input suppose we want to encode a text base 64 for post method sometime we need to send post data here and this data many times have base 64 encoded so base 64 sometime it is encoded so how can we capture the data or in base 64 encoded let me say admin test so this is the two input i'm going to send for admin i can use a variable name user and i can copy it to pass then for pass we can use test as a variable name so <clears throat> when i click the variables when i click on the start button the input user admin will be encoded in base 64 like this this is the base 64 encoded of admin and this is the base 64 of test now we can use this in post data like user and pass this will be this two will be encoded in post data so this is how base 64 encode works if you want to decode something sometime many website already encoded our string in base 64 so we need to we need to decode that so how can we use it as simple we can use another function button and here is the option base 64 decode there you can decode your base 64 as an example i, I am going to decode this variable user let me just okay in my input i take it user and let's say decode base 64 so first this admin will be encoded like this then it will be decoded on this and it name is decode base 64 here first user is i name this as user you can name it as anything base 64 encode then you can decode that also base 64 decode so i hope decoding and encoding base 64 now we are going to learn translate translate is most useful function in config making in this translate we are going to match and translate it's kind of replace as i can say so for using translate let me take a constant as example here admin is false like this so um, i take this as constant okay so when i going to run this constant it will be showing this message so in translate let us for input string our input variable is example so we add this as example and translate this 
for dictionary like there it will be translated if our message is example is equal to false then it will be translating to not valid so let me run this here we can see our example was admin is false or i can say false or i can say just admin if our function is admin and then we can change this admin to super user for using it in key checker so if our function example constant testing as admin it will be translated to super user let's start it so here we can see our example was admin and we replace that to super user like this how you can use anything like if your input string or something came like not valid okay you can use this not valid as free account so it will be translated to free account and you can use this in captures you have to use this character for translating what you want to translate so the format like header will be this to that more example if i use it as a cat then i replace this cat to a dog so it will be translating this cat to dog our example was cat and translate to dog so i hope you can understand what translate is now we are going to learn hash sometime we need to encode our user or pass in hash variable many website encode that type of hash so for encoding let's say our variable name is example as user in the input string we are going to use as user we are going to take that from here and from here we are going to add test me here this will be our input string so input string this i took it as default it will be user okay now in the hash what hash we are going to input so there are many kind of hash most used and most used hash are md5 so we are going to test me here this value we are going to convert this value in md5 so let's try that if we click on start here we are going to see a value which is the string value test me here if we are admin it will be converted to this so this how you can use hash as md5 if you want you can use as md4 but these aren't used in many websites so i recommend you if you have any string like this uh, this type in the post value or post data in the website you can try this encoding in md5 or hash identifier to identify the hash you getting so there are many but these aren't used as much in regular days you can encode our string to sha256 here it, it is the example so i hope we learn some basic for function today this will be enough for part one we will be learning more function in part two hit the subscribe button and stay tuned and follow for more and join our channel for exclusive post and tutorial thank you for watching goodbye